So this is probably the next one. I think they're brass. And the frets are 045 tall now. They're almost full height. The fretboard is wide. And the marquetry is very good. This could be a Stromberg Boisene or a Regal, I'd be guessing. Top's gotten some crazy pick wear. Bridge may be original. This was probably a uh, left the factory as a lap steel guitar. There's a very faint impression of the nut razor right across here. There's a faint line, you can see it. I saw it with a jeweler's loop. Meow, meow. The fretboard. A, it's still, it's got a subtle arch to it. I've checked it. See, it rocks. It's not cupped. He's a real pearl. And this is real binding. Real celluloid binding on the top, no binding on the bottom. I think this is birch. Um, this is not inlay. It's a decal. I'm sure it's a decal. We'll find out. Um, it's a slight V, subtle V. It's rounded, but it's a V. That's the original finish. Amazing. It's beginning to develop crack lure right here. You'd have to look at it in a certain, there, that frosty area is beginning to crack lure. It's developing on the back and on the peg head. Um, this is a little cleaner than most. I believe this top is going to have to get sanded. Some defects will remain. It'll be brighter. It'll be French polished. Yeah, it's my new thing. Um, now, what's up with the guitar? It's in great shape. Now, also, you feel around under here. There's one brace. The brace runs from here to here. One brace. This, again, is a primary indicator of a lap steel guitar. A lap steel guitar well, sometimes just there's one brace and a uh, thick bridge plate. That's it. No strap button because you put it on your lap. The, uh, the little bit of the groove that's left after the bridge was shaved shows it completely horizontal with no slant. Again, lap steel. Now, the problem with the guitar is it needs a neck reset. This should be up here. What actually should be up? It's been shaved an eighth of an inch already, probably, so it needs to be two to three times this gap. It needs to be up here. So, um, the top is flat. It's also been played with frets because I can see the wear here from the cowboy cords. Um, this was a mid to high grade guitar because of the the only level higher than this would be if this was rose mahogany would be the next level and the highest level would be rosewood. I think this is birch. This says birch. This is solid spruce. So, we got to reset the neck, which means remo remove the neck, re-chop it, 
but we're left with the singular brace and for most people they're just not going to want to accept it. I'm going to take the back off this guitar and X brace it. Probably put a new bridge on with a slightly larger footprint. Keep the original fret and fretboard but recondition it and uh, reset the neck as a part of putting it back together. That's my plan. So, getting started with the hard part, a single edge razor blade and a little force got me to break a piece loose. And now, it'll, uh, I'm having good luck. There, you see? This is the wonderful advantage of hide. So, I'll continue to walk around, hopefully with that much ease, which you have to watch out for is when you hit a brace, to stop, deal with it. Hit a brace, stop, deal with it. No sense in watching that. I'm going to peel this top off and hopefully save it. Remember, it's cracked here. It's always been cracked. I'm going to fix that when the top comes off. Top came off with very little trouble. This is the original bracing, one slanted brace, one horizontal, and a big chunk of wood here that they placed slightly wrong. Um, but it does line up with the geometry of the bridge that's underneath. This thing is flat. Um, and it's going to get X braced. We'll take this out and this out. We're going to leave this, most likely. And. Uh, Reset the neck too. Forgot to show you a picture of the back. There's the back. Got some collateral damage. Damaged the decal that went down the stripe when we got to the very back there. Um, otherwise the glue let go and uh, we'll have to do some work to the braces. Get it ready to put back on in about a week. So, they came out pretty easy. This, there's no cracks in this top. This top is like the day they put it in. It's all there. So we'll put in new X braces, bridge plate, and uh, put the back back on. This is, I have less than an hour into this so far. This is about an easy hour. And uh, right back. Here is a teeny bit of collateral damage. It's pretty bad, but uh, it ain't that bad. It's the light. I might not even show this. It's all reflected light you're seeing right now. It's that crack allure finish. See if we... Uh, there, that's not so bad. Here's that white stuff is just reflections, but you can see there's a little damage back there. I'll probably fudge it. But that's really the only casualty. So I'm asking myself, do I want to work with this bridge? I'd probably have to flatten it right here, build it up a little bit. I'd like to put a pyramid bridge on it. I'd like to put a slightly larger bridge on it. So I start probing it. Maybe it'll pop off. Ooh. So there's my... Uh, answer. We'll just work this for a while. With 
all these scratches, I'm not going to worry, it's going to get refinished. I put my other tools away. Grabbed one, Let's see. Stainless steel. Viola. We'll get an ebony bridge. This is the uh, Ritzy Stumac ebony bridge. Um, the thing I don't like about it is these pinholes are slanted. Um, we're going to come up with something else, I think. Um, here is a period correct full height bridge. <clears throat> and it's pyramid. spacing, but that's why. I prefer these because they're bigger and uh, they, I believe they help the sound. So here's two candidates. I've used up all my ebony bridges except for this one. But I can order some more. One of these babies braces, filling in the other ones to get a bridge plate. That'll happen tomorrow. whoop dee doo Okay, so we're uh, there. You can see there's a brace there. Now there's a brace back here too. And after I'm done with everything, I'm going to reach through the sound hole with a wedge that's going to connect this block to this brace that I've installed. The brace, the wedge is going to go right here and simply connect more of the neck block to the top. That's the original brace. Here's the X. I've added these two for the Pentagon. I may put a little top on the birdhouse here. I don't think so. Uh, who knows? Um, this brace you might be able to see it's pretty light. It does kind of taper. I spent a half hour making that. I started with this. And, uh, primitively bandsawed it out of a piece I cut off from that to this and then Eventually you got to there. It's it's maple. That's why I took the time to do it. So we're ready to put the bottom on, and that will uh, be when the final neck angle is set. And I'm going to do some things relative to that, but we're well on the way. Uh, putting it back together. 
let's say we got four hours into it. Maybe a little less so far. So we forgot the vertigo shot. These are called go bars. They're up there pushing on the ceiling. And they're just flexible pieces of wood. They act as uh, springs with downforce. The shorter the stick, the more force. The more bend, the less force. Less force here than here. Eh. Uh, oh, here and here. Yeah, yeah. I'll take that out. Okay, anyway. That's my air conditioner and heater. That's my motto. So one more thing. This is going to be the ending of the part one. First of all, that's the pretty much honest wear going into the original finish. It's worn off up till here. There's a little more there, but um, we're keeping all of that. It's uh, taken a hundred years to make that. Now, see how close we can get with a focus. You can't see it very clearly, but this surface is developing a uh, texture called Crackleur. With lacquer, you'll get lacquer checking or lacquer cracking like Raku. And the older the instrument, the finer the mesh, so to speak, usually. Um, this is probably pre-lacquer. It's probably varnish. And the crack lure is a function of that and age, and it's something to be kept. So we're keeping it. We're going to try to make this thing shine again, but leave it as original as reasonable.